What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Boy, a lot of things have happened the last couple days in the earnings report from Activision. From Activision that they told all their shareholders. Some good news, in my opinion anyways, that basically the progression system is going to be a lot like what Modern Warfare and what Modern Warfare was. Not a pay to win system. Have basically the battle pass just like Modern Warfare had. And I wanted to cover this today. So, so the player community should expect to see Warzone evolve and innovate in a lot of ways, in a lot of fun ways alongside our premium games, importantly, they said. The biggest question is, will Cold, Cold War and Warzone work together? And they are going to work together, and I'll do so, and in in, this on a high level. Things that they also noted, but first, Core Black Ops Cold War progression will build upon the success and work similarly. I can't even talk. Similarly to how it did in Modern Warfare. So the battle pass will be there. It's not a pay to win system like Black Ops 3, Black Ops 4 was, where you have to pay to get the guns, and always them guns are overpowered. Usually the these guns, like Modern Warfare did, are in the beginning stages of the battle pass, so you barely gotta play to get them. So, for example, all the new Black Ops weapons and the operators you unlock in level 1 to 55 progression will be usable in Black Ops and in Warzone. Just like how it works in Modern Warfare, Black Ops Battle Pass content and store content will also work across Black Ops and Warzone. And now players can of course continue to use their Modern Warfare content in Warzone once Black Ops launches as a result. And one cool feature players will see is that they'll be able to see be able to choose either their Black Ops loadout or their Modern Warfare loadout in Warzone for their game, gameplay. And this is just one example of how Warzone is going to expand and evolve over time. Can you imagine the gun loadouts that this is going to provide? We're going back to the old school guns and we got the new school guns and almost like a battlefield there's going to be so many different guns it's almost going to be like a battlefield. You know, look at all the guns that Battlefield has. Now players can also expect to see tons of free post-launch content for the Black Ops Cold War Premium experience across multiplayer and zombies. I think we did. I think they did a great job for the community, for everyone with Modern Warfare, and, and they're going to do the same with Black Ops, so it's going to be integrated. So November 13th really is just the beginning of the game, and I think it's a great game, and just like Modern Warfare, this game is going to be... It's going to get bigger and better and more fun as the year goes on. And I, I really do think so. I mean, I think it's going to outdo Modern Warfare in sales. Because the mechanics, I feel, are better. And what makes me wonder is if the mechanics are going to carry over to this Modern Warfare War Zone. So in terms of overall progress, unlocks, and content, we're really built upon what has really worked well for them in the community with Modern Warfare. And with and they think people and players will be really excited to check out everything Black Ops Cold War has to offer as well. I know I'm excited. <laughs> That's for sure. So the progression system's going to be the same. Now, there's been a lot of leaks about how the prestige system's going to work. Are we going to be able to prestige like we did back in the time period? I mean, they tied this in with Warzone. How can we go back to the old way of prestiging again? It's going to be very interesting to see how they do things when it comes to prestiging. And I have a feeling it's going to stay the same as Modern Warfare if they're going to integrate it that much into the Warzone package. Anyways, another thing that I want to hit up on. What they talked about during this whole thing was is that and this is just a rumor, just pure speculation that's going on in the internet right now. The possibility of Warzone being being delayed is very high right now. Uh, from what was gathered there at during that stockbroker conversations and what's going on on the internet right now is that Warzone is going to possibly be delayed until December. What they want is they want everybody to purchase the game first. They don't want to give everybody the free package of, of Cold War, Warzone, or whatever that's going to be, whatever that entails. That's that's what the rumor is, is that Cold War, Warzone is not going to progress until December. That way people will buy the game, and they'll get their money out of that, and then they'll drop that 
free, that section for free into Warzone. Because obviously Warzone's free. So they still got to make their money off Cold War. So they don't want to dilute Cold War just for Warzone. Because there's a lot of people that just want the war zone and not so much the Cold War aspect of it. The 6v6 like I do. Because I hate, hate, hate Battle Royale. So they don't want to dilute the sale of Cold War. So there, there's talks of it being delayed. So we'll see. That's all speculation. There's so much speculation going on right now. It is absolutely insane. Anyways, I just want to give you guys a quick update on the stockbroker meeting. And that's it. That's all I got for today. Going to be streaming here in a few minutes. And don't forget to check out my video on the blue Yeti or the blue snowball that I have going on as a contest right now. Click on that video, like, comment, and subscribe, and uh, you can have a chance to win my old microphone since I upgraded, which is why I was in desperate need. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Have a good one. And also, hey, watch me on Twitch.tv. And why don't you hit that subscribe button? Thanks.